For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 to 30 NIV Yesterday I wanted to take my toddler son to a lovely water park near our home. In my mind this was going to be the perfect day. I've organized a few other mums to meet us there. I pack snacks for him. He swimmers, he loves water, and spare sets of clothes. Very excited, I went to pick him up to put him in the car, only to be met with extreme resistance, crying, and a mini tantrum. The more I was trying to explain to him that we are going to a big water park with many water fountains and water dropping buckets, the more he tried to kick loose and cried. See, after breakfast, he wanted to play outside with the tap and to get water out to fill his little cup. And he thought that was the absolute best idea for him that day. But me, being his mum and always wanting the best for him, I knew that if he just trusted me, that he would have the most amazing day. Back and forth we went, tug of war. The more I tried to coach him into the car, the more tears came and the more his little mind thought I was taking him away from the best thing in the world. But I knew playing with a water tap and cup was so mediocre compared to a big water park with multi-colored pipes and water spraying options everywhere. It took me a while to get him into the car just to be met with tears and crying from him all the way to the park. Even on the way, he still didn't believe I had something better planned for him. And then God spoke to me and showed me that this is exactly what I do with him. I set my mind on something, thinking it is the best thing for me, the best idea, and that thing I want, whether an object, opportunity or path, is going to make me happy. I pray for it and ask God to help me get it over and over again. But God being a loving father knows the bigger picture and sees everything. He knows when there is something better in store for me, but I can't see what he sees. I don't know what he knows. And then I get upset, cry to him, begging him to let me go the way I think is best. I looked at my son yesterday thinking that if he could only see and understand how much better the water park will be for him, he will stop crying and rather laugh and get excited in anticipation. And I know God may look at me like that sometimes thinking, if my daughter only knew how great my plans are for her, if she could only understand that I want the best for her and that I know she's going to delight and experience so many more adventures and memories if she only trusted me completely. And many times in my life, I have experienced the same thing, where I prayed and begged God for something and it didn't work out. Then to look back seeing that his ways and his plans were indeed much better than what I had in mind. I want to encourage you today to stop crying and complaining if you ask God for something and you don't see it happen. Trust what he says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, that his plans are to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Let's pray. Daddy God, I am sorry for wailing and complaining, showing my distrust and unbelief in your great plans for my life. I choose to believe what you say in your word about my future and that you always want the best for me. Please help me to let go and trust you when I don't always see things going my way you are the great I am and have planned each day of my life, even before I was born. I love you, Lord Jesus. You are my savior and warrior king, and you help me to keep going in the midst of uncertainty. Holy Spirit, you are my comforter, and please help me to always trust in God's divine plans for my life. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.